Hi, Leos. You got drawn to be next. I found that going in strict order from like Aries to Pisces was kind of a drag. So I started pulling your name out of a your names out of a hat. <laughs> Um, it seems to be working pretty well. My name is Abby. Thanks for coming to my channel. It's Rogue Goddess Tarot. This is where I read for all the signs, Leo. So your birthday is somewhere between July 23rd and August 22nd. Okay, happy Leo season. We are in Leo season right now. Uh, this is an, a timeless reading that is looking at the energy that you are in right now and where it is leading you, okay? And then I'm going to use the tarot to kind of clarify some of the more like everyday energies, the things that you might be dealing with while you're in that phase of life. Okay. So to look at the underlying energy, we have such beautiful cards. This is the Healing Heart Oracle. If any of you are interested in the deck, it's called the Rejected Heart. Transform heartbreak into inner strength. Okay. This feels like there could be, for some of you, Leos, um, this is a process that you are working on right now. If we looked at sort of, when I look at the underlying energy, I'm like, that's more like the canvas or the, that, that the, the scene is being painted on, or it's the field that the, that the game is being played on. Okay. So some of you may have suffered some kind of rejection, or you might be learning how to deal with a rejection. Okay. Um, and you're learning how to turn that into resilience. That's the, the message, the main message of what this is here. The energy that you may be in right at the moment is we have hopeful heart. Okay. So this says an exciting surprise is coming your way. Okay. So someone or something in the energy around you right now is kind of surprising, is making you feel like, okay, maybe there's hope for it for something here towards a dream or a wish, an aspiration for yourself, Leo. All the Leos I've known are very, they love really, really hard. And they're always like the best cheerleaders, like the people who, if they believe in you, Leos will be like by your side, on the sidelines, cheering you on no matter what, right? They will always have your back. It's just such beautiful loyalty. Um, and it feels like this hopeful heart, like there's something here that's making you feel like, ooh, ooh, okay, this is really nice. We have Knight of Pentacles coming out. Now, if this is someone outside of you, then this could be a person who is, ooh, I want to say like a, probably like a little bit younger than you. This is someone who's kind of methodical. Uh, a little slow moving. They have a whole lot of potential and there's work to be done. For some of you, this is an energy that you recognize within yourself. Okay. So this could be that you have a, a mission, right? A pentacle of which you have like, you've taken charge of that and you're like, okay, this is the thing that I need to work on. Um, and you might be just working on taking some slow methodical steps towards that goal. What else is this? Chariot. Yeah, to change your circumstances, to change the places that you've been. You're taking initiative. You have a lot of drive. This is cancer energy. So this is a time of great change so for some of you, great travel. Um, for some of you, this could be even hopes about getting yourself a new vehicle. You may have had to be really, really careful with your money. Um, maybe you've never had a vehicle before. Maybe you had one before and you can't have one now. Maybe the one you have now isn't very reliable, but it would be incredibly helpful to you um, to have that assistance, right? To have that that tool at your disposal to be able to use. Um, and this feels like you might have been putting some of you some really fi financially responsible sort of steps in place to help you get to whatever this thing is that helps you to change your circumstances and your energy. The chariot I tend to see as a push forward right? It's sort of like having the will to change your direction um, and accept all of the parts of you that are going to come along the way, right? Not just the good stuff, but you're bringing your whole self with this energy. With the hanged man, Pisces energy, okay? You could have some Pisces in your chart or some Cancer. It's a little watery energy there, hey? This feels like some kind of self-sacrifice that needs to be made. Now, this doesn't mean 
some of you, it's felt, I felt like I would almost hear it in my ears. Like I'm always sacrificing for everyone else. Damn it. You know? <laughs> like, I don't want to keep sacrificing stuff. This is more of the energy because there's this, this momentous change with this chariot energy of you accepting a kind of sacrifice for yourself. Okay. The person who is in the hanged man, the hanged man is not hanging upside down because it's like a super fun time. They're hanging upside down because the world became too ordinary and mundane and they were having trouble perceiving things in a new and novel way. So they've put themselves in an uncomfortable position so that they have the ability to see things in a new way and to grasp life and the rest of the journey in the fool's journey because we're only at number 12 with the, the hanged man to perceive it in a new way, okay? So something about this um, push forward is like, you're like, okay, I can accept, I can see that what I want and what I'm working towards is gonna take me really far away from where I am here. And there are some things that I'm gonna need to sacrifice in order to get that. And that can mean that you might have to take better care of your health. Maybe you need to make sure that you are you maybe you have to give up some social time and you have to come home and get into bed and make sure you're in bed every night at 10 o'clock. Um, maybe you need to make sure that you set aside an hour a day to read a book you've been meaning to read because it has information in it about um, maybe there's a new, a new career you want to look into. Maybe there's um, some self-improvement that you're looking to do. Maybe it's about your love or your romance life, whatever it is, but you're sitting here going like, okay, I'm gonna have to give some things up. If it's your health, you could be like, maybe I have to give up takeout for a while. Maybe I have to learn how to batch cook and meal prep. Maybe I have to figure that stuff out um, to save money or to put things aside or to learn what I need to learn to get to the next place on my journey. So I feel like you're in that, that place right now. Leo, oh, this is really nice. This is so you. Holy smokes, Leo. Just triumphant. I like this. It's Jupiter, Jupiter and Leo energy together. So this is like expansion, good fortune, luck, travel, philosophy, and things just getting bigger and bigger. The six of wands tends to show us at a time when we are getting public recognition for something. Um, we're proud of something. We've built something that we can be proud of, right? It's a really beautiful energy, especially if you look at the journey of the wands, the five of wands before this, it's sort of like training. It's sometimes some competition. It's like being in the games of some sort and then coming out on top, right? Making your way to the top of the hill and the top of the pile. So this is you shining really bright, really, really bright here. I really like this. Okay. We have the four of swords coming out. with your chariot. I feel like for some of you, this move that you're making and the sacrifices you're willing to take, the changes that you are willing to put into place are going to be incredibly healing for you. They allow you in some way to find quiet and calm and ease. And that allows the rest of your spirit to kind of recuperate. Okay, so I also want to remind you as you're going on this journey, Leo, even though it's like it looks very exciting and you might get really encouraged and feel like you have to grind, like I am not a fan of the grind culture stuff, right? Where people are like, you just have to grind at it and always, always go and only sleep four hours a night and only do whatever and always have five, five side hustles on the go and always do whatever. You're also a human person in a body that needs food and water and rest and all of that stuff, right? Um, and some bodies need more things than others, right? But like everybody needs at least food, water, rest. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind as well. Take care of yourself while you're getting ready to conquer the world here. Okay. And then two of pentacles. So I feel that this is you juggling a little bit. Um, you... Leo, probably very good at juggling your time and your money and your finances. Your priorities are going to shift, okay? That's what this is kind of looking at. You're feeling, I feel like you're getting some traction and some things working really well in your favor um, in the past little while, but you're, you're being reminded with this two of pentacles that like your priorities as 
you pay more attention to one thing, right? You might ignore another one, right? So you say it's like your health versus your um, career, right? Um, trying to put those things into balance can be a little tricky. So it's like, don't get too down on yourself if you feel like you need to put things at work get a little nutty. So you have to put a little bit more energy into work. And then when you have the time, you can start demanding and pulling back and going, no, I need to focus on my health. Otherwise, I won't have the energy to get where I want to work, right? So this is you kind of like making those, those adjustments. Now, where this might be taking you, this is interesting. I know there's a few of you that are going to be freaked out and click off. This says hurt heart, okay? But the message there says, I see you. I'm not sure for all of you if this is you, okay? For some of you, you could be going into a healing or a caring profession. There could be some way that either someone is looking at you and recognizing you and all of the things that you have had to sacrifice to get to where you are. Or it could be that you become that person for somebody else. Now, I know there's a few of you out there who are like, I already do that all the time for everybody else. Maybe this is in a way that becomes like a job, like to be a therapist or a counselor, or I don't know, even a a comfort TikToker, right? I don't know if you've been on TikTok, but like I've come across accounts where it seems like there are people who their whole vibe is just to make people feel safe and comfortable and to just say like nice affirming things. And like you'd be blown away by the the followings on some of these accounts because so many people are out here making the sacrifices that they want to make, that they need to make to get where they, they need to go to survive even and having that kind of affirmation right building those communities is incredibly healing for a lot of people okay we have the knight of wands so from the knight of pentacles into the knight of wands so there's something more ambitious afoot in the future energy this feels more methodical and sort of doing the things the overarching things as like the adventure the swift change making the decisions, putting things in motion, making yourself uncomfortable because you have to be being proud of what you've done, healing yourself on that kind of stuff. This is like, okay, this is a more exciting kind of energy. This is more adventurous energy. This is bolder energy. This is a putting yourself out there kind of energy. Some of you could have a, a you know, a fire sign person in the mix, sure. Mm, okay. You have two of wands. So for me, this is like a crossroads and a decision. You have a couple different things to look at here. Um, so there's a couple different paths for you to go down. One of them might be a little bit clearer than the other. There could be a perceived obstacle that doesn't actually exist, okay? So there could be something, or a simple obstacle, something that you could get yourself around or that would actually move out of your way if you started to move in that direction. I feel like ultimately you know in your heart, Leo, as you're in the future, which path you want to take. You know which one speaks to you more, okay? And with it sitting underneath this hurt heart, I'm like, I'm really drawn to how like the color of this glowing heart and the color of this one wand. So what this is making me feel is that as you get more confident and more bold, and you become more decisive about the things that you want, there could be some past aches, some past hurts, that you're looking at the, past, the path in front of you, and maybe there's something in there that triggers or makes you think of, of something that hurt you, okay? And makes you almost, it's interesting to me, because like sometimes when people encounter something that reminds them of something that hurts them, will do this thing, 
Whereas some people run from it, they'll go like, oh no, I don't want to ever go near that again. Or they go like, I, I've been hurt before, so I'll just stay right here, right? Um, rather than change, rather than pick this other path, rather than pick this other light. I'll, I'll just, I'll just, this I know at least, right? So if there's something there that influences you, that starts to pull you into this place of, of not making a choice that you know in your heart, okay, is like you want to take this path that's, that's a different vibe than what you've encountered before, but the hurt part of you is telling you, well, this other path is more sensible. This is more in line with something. This is what you know, right? This other thing is whatever. Um, and that you're holding your back, yourself back in some way. Okay, like just just keep that in mind. If it makes sense, it makes sense. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Strength, Leo. This is you showing up, loud and proud. Really beautiful. The inner will and wisdom that you have, Leo, is pretty earth shattering. There are some things here where you're going to have to apply this patience and this love and this care. This is her sort of gentle gentle strength to yourself and your surroundings, okay? And I like how it's like this path is sort of bluish and this cat has the blue eyes and then the water and this whole card has sort of like a blue vibe to it. There's a path here that requires some restraint and sometimes it's the strength card can symbolize us having to tame our inner beast, tame our inner instincts, right? And sometimes our inner beast can be like our fears and our hurts and our triggers and all of that kind of stuff. All of those things kind of, are, you know, the things that just kind of are reactions rather than calculated movements. And I feel like this shows you being very patient with that part of yourself and nurturing yourself into a new direction. Queen of Swords. Okay, air sign energy. Could be an air sign person, feminine person, doesn't have to be a female. But this feels like once you're once you go through this process, you get more bold, you get more creative, and then this sort of little this little hurt comes up when you're making this choice of which way to go. And then your strength shows up for you, right? That energy. You become very strategic like incredibly strategic. Mm, yeah. Very calculating. And you sort of, I want to say, Leo, that you like gamify something. Like you turn something into a game. And it's like a, it's like a game of wits. Interesting, with judgment. This is Marsy Scorpio stuff for me. So... You're finding a calling. You're getting like an inner calling and an inner knowing of something that you can go to that will be very successful. And it's like a brand new start for you. And the fool, see a brand new start for you. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> yeah. Some Aries energy there might be in the mix. Might mean something, might not. But... This feels like through this little journey you have here of addressing your hurts and where they might, it's almost like in my head, it's reminding me of like a hurting dog. Like, like, you know, those dogs when they're hurting, how they like, they'll sort of encroach in on livestock and like keep them in this place. And that's what this hurt of yours is. Okay. Um, now, whether this is maybe a rejection, maybe there's someone who's like, a, a, a classical sort of knight of wands character, right? A sort of in and out, in, you know, inconsistent person, and you have to make a choice and you choose yourself. Um, that can feel like a rejection. Even if we reject someone else, just knowing that we were in an energy and that person couldn't meet us there, they couldn't meet us halfway, we were going to end up pouring into them, catering to them, all of that kind of stuff. That can feel like a rejection, right? Because it's like, it's like it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. Not for everybody, but there are a couple of you that that's important for, okay? And then we have 
Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. So this really prosperous time, a time of having the chance to probably turn something into an investment for the future, turn something into a legacy, something that you can leave behind, a seed that you can plant. Um, for some of you, this could be uh, a fortune, a small windfall, uh, a purchase, right? Sometimes when I was talking earlier about how some of you might have been really diligently trying to save and get things on track so you can you can get something done. For some of you, it's about changing your circumstances, maybe a trip, maybe buying a car. For some of you, it could be a home. Like who knows what it is, right? But it's, it's going to be different for every single one of you. But having the Ace of Pentacles there, I feel like is a really good sign that that thing that you're working towards you have a great chance at, especially with just like oh, with judgment and then the fool. It's like a new beginning just going crazy for you here. Okay, so let yourself see yourself if a hurt comes up. Let yourself see it. Let yourself recognize it. Let yourself work with it. Forgive it. See it for what it is. What's your last message here? Okay, we have Akasha saying your guidance is divinely guided. So this is like, mm -hmm. thank you. So judgment card often has angelic sort of features to it, right? There's like this hand from above, these sort of feathered wings. It's sort of like an inspiration or a call um, in the Rider Waite Smith deck, right? It's like an angel that's blowing a horn that's pulling everybody out um, into a new life and to like to resurrect them and bring them into a new life, a second chance for themselves. Um, if you are on this journey and you're feeling alone, I feel that this card is coming out to tell you like this is, you are being guided, right? You are being guided towards the things that are going to be the best for you. Mm, this is so cute. Okay, Gemini, or Leo, sorry. I did Gemini right before this. This is what I got for you. I hope there was something in here that was helpful. Um, if you happen to have a Pisces placement somewhere in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node, South Node, whatever, I do have a Pisces exclusive channel. It's actually where I started on YouTube. It's linked down in the description. If you feel like checking that out, if you don't, feel free to, to watch your other signs and placements here. Um, and take care of yourselves, okay? Subscribe, comment, like, all that stuff, and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.